is Sergio Marchion. I'm, I was lucky enough, I think, to be the second recipient of the uh, Deming Cup Award back in 2011. And I've been asked to open up tonight's um, event and make a couple of remarks about what we're going to be doing. But um, on behalf of Terry and Paul, who are co-chairs of the Deming Cup, I want to welcome you to the 2017 Deming Cup celebration. I'm delighted to be back here at Columbia. I, I managed to skip last year for travel reasons, and I see that this award continues to set the standard for recognizing and celebrating the inspirational leadership that contributes to operational excellence. Um, this appears to be an appropriate time to hold this event. Apparently in a few days, it is the 117th anniversary of the birth of Deming, and he championed as we all know, the re revolutionary idea that operational excellence depends on the organization's ability to make continuous improvement in the job of everyone anywhere in the organization. Now, as it's Deming's idea spread around the world, many companies sought to enlist him as a consultant, but he refused to have anything to do with those organizations that were not willing to make their top executives available to him. He understood that radical improvements in quality and in productivity require strong leadership to ensure that every level understands and embraces common values. Tonight, we're honoring two leaders who grasp this fundamental truth. One is Jeff Immelt out of General Electric, and the other one is Arnie Sorensen of Marriott International. They embodied Deming Center's mission to promote operational excellence in an ever-evolving multinational business environment. And I believe that the example that they set is the best way that we can honor Deming's legacy. Now, shortly, we're going to hear more about their achievements from a lineup of speakers who are exemplary leaders themselves. But first, I'd like to take a moment to recognize the members of the judging committee who uphold the prestige and the integrity of this award. And I can tell you that it's a process that is handled very thoroughly and with a huge degree of conscience. Now, I'd like to, degree, to welcome our newest committee members, last year's Deming Cup recipients, David Cote of Honeywell and Indra Nui of PepsiCo, as well as Philip Cochet of General Electric and Daniel Rameau of VIA. Now, several years ago, when the Deming Cup honored the heroic efforts of Fiat and Chrysler, of those people who work at Fiat and Chrysler by selecting me for the Deming Cup Award, I spoke about the resolve of survivors, of men and women, who found within themselves a reservoir of strength, a reservoir of courage, perhaps even more than they even knew they had. And when we recount these stories of unexpected survivals, we all tend to mythologize, to create myths about CEOs. But I'm sure that Jeff and Arnie and everybody in this room would agree with me that the romantic image of a single leader of a great man or a woman who working alone resolves all of an organization's problems doesn't really exist in today's world. The true value of a chief executive should be measured in terms of his or her human impact on the organization, on his or her ability to develop leaders who have the courage to challenge the status quo, to pioneer uncharted paths, and to break away from convention and go beyond the tried and the tested. That is what Deming did. And it is what Jeff and Arnie have done, and it is what we're celebrating here tonight. So thank you all for coming. My best wishes to tonight's honorees. Have a good dinner. <laughs>